time for Tiger Talk, heard before each Salem Lady Tiger softball game with Stan Stevens and Coach Rebecca Hayes. Tiger Talk is being brought to you by Flying W Boutique and Looking Glass Salon with Alicia Watson, Candy Mink, and myself, Katie Cardi. Now for Tiger Talk on KSML Media. Welcome to Tiger Talk, Stan Stevens and Coach Rebecca Hayes. Coach, Salem Lady softball tires get off to a 2-3 start. You got that opening day win uh, in the Mountain Grove Tournament. Got that first win and then uh, had a little stumbling block, but you're, you're coming out okay. And unfortunately, a rain out the other day, and now you're going to have to make that one up next week. So as we talked about before, many of the other softball coaches, and, and you know it as well, the softball season is just so short, so fast. You just don't have a lot of time to react, do you? No. Yep. Nope. We get we get those rainouts and got to play back to back, and yep, it makes it short. As you were, we were talking right before we came on here. You're working out the kinks. Uh, some of the good, I'm sure you see a lot of good things, but you're also seeing some things that you need to work on. Hard to do that when you're not getting the weather to cooperate, isn't it? No, it is. It is very hard. Um, we try to get inside when we can, and not much you can work on there when we don't have a full field, but we do what we can. We know like last year, the Salem Tigers got off a little bit of a slow start, and they really start picking up near the end of the year. You know, you got to find the right positions for the right players. they got to get comfortable with them. That just does not happen overnight, does it? No, it does not, and we have already already recognized that and made some big changes, so yeah. So tell us a little bit about uh, your defensive lineup. Coach, if you would, just kind of fly through that a little bit. Well, we've got uh, our starting catcher from last year. She is now our starting pitcher. And our um, starting center is now our catcher. So those are, those are big changes, but, but we're, uh, we're working with it, and it seems to be, seems to be pretty, pretty all right. And it's and you never know, you know, even though you might make a change like early in the season and it might work out for a few games, it still though may give you some flexibility down the road where you have to make some player personnel changes, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. And we've got we've got a couple young pitchers that are trying to work their way in there too and they're not doing too bad. Do you so, I was meant to say what kind of leadership do you have on the team this year, coach? Um, well, we've got our three seniors that all are very well at being leaders on the field and um, talking up those underclassmen when they need it. And so we're working with that. And it's really important to have that leadership out there from those seniors, isn't it? It is. It is. It is very important for softball is a very communication game. So it is very important. And when you're, you're trying to teach new players, maybe new positions, or maybe a different place in the batting order. Some people don't think that makes a big deal, but if you're used to being a leadoff person, all of a sudden you find yourself in the eighth slot, it does play a little bit with your mind, doesn't it? It does, yep. But I try to stress to them that, you know, once you work through the first first time you go through the lineup, then your spot in the lineup really doesn't matter because you never know where you're going to end off in that third out, and you never know who's going to come back up. So. <laughs> And that's exactly the point you do need to make, Coach, is that after your first nine or ten batters, it really doesn't make any difference where you, where you bat, does it? Nope, it does not. But you still, you, know, you still want the girls to make good contact, drive the ball if you can. But we all know early in the season, the weather's usually not the best. It's usually kind of a damp or slick field, or maybe you're just having a very cold day. Kind of today, you're going to get a little cool day, going to get some sunshine, but the field is not in the best condition, but it is playable, isn't it? It is. It is. We're. Um, I just talked to Don, and he said the the field's gonna be. It'll be all right. It might be a little hard. It might be coming off like it's playing some turf, but I think we'll be all right. All right, Coach. The very best of luck today against the Steelville Lady Cardinals. Good luck, Coach. Thank you so much. Stay tuned, Lady Tiger softball. It is next. Thank you, Stan. That's been Tiger Talk with Coach Rebecca Hayes, brought to you as a courtesy of the Looking Glass Salon and Flying W Boutique. Now stay tuned. Salem Lady Tiger softball is next. Mid-Ozark Animal Health Center in Salem is here for all of your veterinary needs. From your house cat to a herd of cattle, Dr. Cunningham and her expert staff are here to help. Mid-Ozark Animal Health Center is committed to providing your animals with the highest level of care and support. Schedule an appointment today for checkups, boarding, surgery, supplies, or even 24-7 emergency services for established clients. Stop by or call in today and get the veterinary care that your pets deserve. 
It's only because of our incredible sponsors that we're able to bring you Salem Tiger Sports and community events. Some of these sponsors include United Country Salem Realty, Babette Wells, Broker Owner. Stop by their office located at 605 South Main Street. New Life Auto, Taters Sporting Good and Taxidermy, Melvin Motors and more. On the Spot Auto Glass, Looking Glass Salon, Flying W Boutique, Hubs Tire Center, and Ozark Overhead Door. Welcome to this KSMO Media broadcast of Salem Lady Tiger Softball. Today's game is brought to you by K&H Auto Supply, Salem Memorial Hospital, Farm Bureau Insurance, Salem Memorial Clinic, Country Mart, The Bank of Salem, Napa, Uni Auto Supply, Town Screen LLC, Tax Masters, Town and Country Insurance, Southwest Baptist University, Salem Campus, Tarot Complete Auto Care, Edward Jones, Duncan Family Chiropractic, State Farm Insurance, Salem Trust Manufacturing, Progressive Ozark Bank, Stephen Patterson, Attorney at Law, Mid Ozark Animal Health Center Incorporated, Southtown Furniture, Healthy Dent County, New Life Auto, Taters Sporting Good and Taxidermy, Melvin Motors and more, On the Spot Auto Glass, United Country Salem Realty, American Family Insurance, The Technology Junkyard, Looking Glass Salon, Flying W Boutique, Hubs Tire Center, and Ozark Overhead Door LLC. And now get ready for Salem Lady Tiger. We welcome you to Salem City Park. It's softball time here in Salem as our Lady Tigers are taking the Lady Cardinals of Salem. Getting off a little bit of a late start as Steelville got here just a tad bit late, but we've got the infield practice done. We're getting ready for the umpires to take the scene. We'll have the starting uh, lineups to give you yet, and they'll be introduced here as well. Plus, we'll have the national anthem on this game here today at the Salem City Park. Not a field, did not drag today because of the rain yesterday. It was still a little bit moist. You didn't want to take up all that extra moisture, so most of it got a little bit of raking in some areas. Otherwise, it's pretty well left from the rains that we got on Monday. So it's going to be kind of a fast field for most of the girls out there, especially on the infield, and they're going to have to be really aware putting down bunts which normally is a, a very good trademark of the salem lady tigers but that's going to be on pretty hard dirt now going down toward third base so it may change a little strategy there and then trying to get that bunt down unless you're trying to sacrifice bunt something of that nature but bunting for a hit may now well, that may change a little bit in this game just have to kind of wait and see how the field begins to play out so the Salem Lady Tigers and the Steelville Lady Cardinals. Salem coming in two and three. Steelville two and four. So teams pretty well even to get started with this year. And while the uh, umpires and captains of the Salem Lady Tigers are out there along with Coach Becca Hayes and Coach for Steelville, they will be shaking hands and getting ready for the game today. For the Steelville Lady Cardinals, it'll be doing the pitching today. Marley Perkins, she's a senior. She'll be caught by Abby Kreitner. At first base, Abby Woodall. At second base, the uh, freshman Emery Perkins. At third base, Bree Kelly. And shortstop, Gracie May Boone. Out in the outfield, in right field, Alea Decker. In center field, it'll be Marley Eilert. And in left field, Tabitha Brown. For the Salem Tigers, they'll be starting Reagan Dubois on the rubber today with Kylie Wood doing the catching. At first base, Brooke Mahurin at second, Delaney Owen. At third base, Shaylee Thomas. And at shortstop, it'll be Alexis White. Patrolling center field will be Taylor Fulton. Left field, Sailor Van Wick. And Reagan Thompson will be out in right field. She'll be the flex player. There is a DP. And then designated player is Raven Gillum. For the Lady Tigers, she'll be batting in the number four slot. Well, not a cloud around. That's the good news after Monday. We had nothing but clouds. Pretty much yesterday, nothing but clouds. So today we got nothing but blue skies. But it is a little cool. The winds are still kind of coming out of the west and northwest. Not very much, but they're enough to get your attention out there. It's a little bit cool. So if you are willing to come out and enjoy the game today, feel free to. It's an outstanding afternoon with the sun shining brightly. But wear a jacket or bring a jacket with you or maybe even a blanket that uh, might be able to be used during the game today, more than likely will uh, sometime by the end of the game to kind of keep you uh, a little bit on the warm side. 
No, you're welcome to come on out to Salem City Field. This field is located next to the Salem Community Center at the Armory. It's the first field with a parking lot as you come in the city park. So feel free to park there or you can park behind the Armory. There's a parking lot there that you can go through if when you uh, drive through. You'll see it back there. You can park there as well. And then come on in or park alongside the Armory on the east side of the building and not too much parking left and you might find something still on the west side of the building as well so you got a number of areas you can park and there's other areas in the city park as well if you might to walk a little bit further but uh, still plenty of parking that i can see out there right now before we get this one underway they're still talking about the ground rules here at salem as you can see pretty much a standard straightaway field 260 down the lines pretty much standard for softball you know, 200, 260, somewhere in there. And so it's a pretty symmetrical field for these Lady Tigers. I should say 260 about center and 200 feet down the line. I'm sorry, got that a little bit off base. So that's what we're going to have today. So the Salem Tigers, they'll be in their white jerseys. Oh, I'm sorry, their white pants with their navy blue jerseys with the Carolina numbers and letters while Steelville building their all red uniforms with the white socks and the white numbers and letters on their jersey. So we're getting ready to get the introductions here. As we mentioned, in a batting order, it'll be Abby Kreitner, Abby Woodall and Marley Perkins, the first three up. Then Emery Perkins, Gracie Mae Boone, and Bree Kelly. Then Alea Decker, Tabitha Brown, and Marley Eiler. And that is the starting nine today for the Steelville Cardinals in the right batting order. Don't forget, tomorrow we'll be back at it again. We'll be at the Salem Baseball Field Complex as the boys will take on the Potosi Trojans. That game will be at 430. We'll be there to bring it to you 415 with Tiger Talk and Coach Tony Edwards. Now, during the game, if you're not familiar with our broadcast, we do have a score bug that goes on the bottom of our broadcast. If you're watching on the video stream, that score bug brought to you by your friends at Ozark Overhead Door. Zane and his gang do an outstanding job. So check that out, the score bug, right at the bottom of our video screen if you are streaming with us. And we will, during the game, see instant replay. And Ben will be throwing those instant replays up after plays made in the field. That's also some batting or hitting of outstanding plays that occurred during the game. Instant replay brought to you by Hubs Tire Center. We're sponsoring our instant replay. They're right across the station on Highway 19 for all your tire needs or alignment needs. They've got you covered at Hubs Tire Center. Don't forget our post-game and pre-game shows are being brought to you by your friends at Flying W Boutique and the Looking Glass Salon. So be sure to stop by their new location at the intersection of Highway 19 and 4th Street. That is your friends at the Flying W Boutique and also the Looking Glass Salon. Well, unfortunately, the PA system died here. Uh, they're introducing the Salem Tigers. So they're all taking their positions on the field and lining up along first base. And we will then have our national anthem coming up before we get this game underway. Don't forget, tomorrow opening day for Cardinals. They'll be in L.A. to take on the Dodgers. That game gets underway at 310, 215 with the Cardinals pregame show. At the conclusion of that game, we have Blues hockey tomorrow night. They'll take on uh, Calgary, and that game will get underway at 7 o'clock or right after Cards Baseball. And we'll be at the Salem City, I'm sorry, at the Salem Baseball Field Complex for boys baseball. And right now, we're going to take a one-minute break and come back after the National Anthem here on KSMO Media. Progressive Ozark Bank is proud to announce a better way to manage your debit card fraud alerts. Instead of a phone call, customers will receive a message on their text-enabled numbers if there is a concern on a debit card transaction. It's fast and easy. Want to find out how you can get fraud text alerts on your phone? Drop by or call Progressive Ozark Bank for more information. Progressive Ozark Bank, FDIC insured, where people matter. 
Every project is different, which is why Salem Trust uses modern engineering software to design, then construct quality trusses for your home, barn, or business. The size of the job doesn't matter, but the quality of the work does, which is why Salem Trust will deliver their trusses anywhere. Proud to support the Salem community, they're open Monday through Thursday from 7.30 to 4.30 and Friday from 7.30 until 11. For more information, call Salem Trust at 729-9276. So Lady Tigers open up their home season today. They were to do this yesterday against the Potosi Lady Trojans. By the way, that game that was rained out yesterday will be played on April 2nd. That's next Tuesday. And that will be right here to Salem City Park at 430. That game will not be on KSMO Media because the boys will be playing at home that day in a game we had already scheduled to carry. Uh, that'll be on Tuesday. So I have a streaming game for you. Just will not be the girls' game next Tuesday. It will be the boys' game. As when we talked to Athletic Director Clay Moody, we said on makeup days, whatever game we've already got scheduled, that's what we're going to go with. And uh, they're good to go with that. So next week, we'll have a boys' radio broadcast only on Monday. We'll have the boys' baseball game broadcast on Tuesday. I believe we'll be back on Thursday here at the Salem City Park for Lady Softball. So busy, busy time here in the next few weeks as the Lady Tigers will have games Monday through Thursday next week now. And they'll be on the road three of those four games, or two of those four games, excuse me. All right. So they're getting ready to go here right now at KSMO. I want to tell you that at the top of the hour, uh, top of the inning, top of the hour, top of the inning, we are almost at the top of the hour, and we're not too far away from that, uh, about 18 minutes or so. But the top of the inning is brought to you as a courtesy of your local American family insurance agent, Jonah Schaefer. If you've bought a new vehicle, you know you need to get insured and get insured the right way. Make sure the right coverage, if it's full coverage you need because of a loan or you just want the right coverage for you or maybe you have a number of vehicles and you want to bundle all them together and get the best coverage, talk to Jonah. 729-5165, American Family Insurance Agent, Jonah Schaefer at 1104 South Main Street. Reagan, new boys on the hill today. Reagan played catcher last year. And, of course, so she is in a different position this year. And Kylie Wood has moved to behind the plate from center field from last year where Taylor Fulton is now patrolling. So we're about ready to get this one underway as the umpire brushes off home plate. Don Smith, the grounds director for the city of Salem, did a good job in getting the field as prepared as possible. There's some damp spots out there, but... Nothing like yesterday when it was just a puddle of mud. It just was bad. All right. So we're about ready to get this underway. Du Bois ready to go as Wood gets set behind the plate. Standing in is Abby Kreitner. And we're underway here at Salem City Park. Glad to have you aboard on KSMO AM 1340 FM 95.7 and streaming with us on KSMO Media. First hit as a one hopper to short and out at first base on a good throw by Alexis White. 6-3 on a put out. That didn't take very long. One pitch, one out. Ball is hit well by Kreidner, but right at Wood. Fielded on one hop. She's ready to throw her out with a good throw across to Mahurin at first base. Standing in is Abby Woodall. That pitch, just a little bit high with a fastball. Woodall batting left-handed. Plays first base for the Steelville Lady Cardinals. All in red today. Sign from Wood, and here comes the pitch home. That's in for a strike, a little change up. Cheating in a little bit right in front of the bag at third base for the Salem Lady Tigers is Shaley Thomas. Looking in, the sign, the stretch, here comes. There's a high fly ball foul up towards the hill here at the Salem Community Center in City Park. It's a one two count for Du Bois. One down, we're in the top of the first inning. Straight away for this hitter. Abby Woodall waits right in the front part of that batter's box as Du Bois gets a sign from Wood. Here it comes in the dirt. Two and two. Du Bois steps back, regroups. 
Climbs back towards that pitching rubber. Stands on it. Looks in. She's ready. The sign from Wood. And a 2-2 pitch comes home. There's a ground ball towards Delaney Owen at second base. The flip to first is in time. 4-3 on that put out. Two down. As we mentioned, around for, around the infield, again, it'll be Brooke Mahurin at first base, Delaney Owen at second, Shaley Thomas at third, Alexis White at short. In the outfield, Fulton in center. In left field, Sailor Van White and Reagan Thompson out in right field. Marley Perkins swings and pops one up, and that's going to get off the glove of the left fielder coming in. Van Wick to play at second base is thrown, just flipped away. As White tried to get it back towards second base to Owen. So it'll be a base hit. Actually going to have to call it a double because she never did stop running. And that was a long way for Saylor to come in and try and make that catch. Ball just into the outfield grass right behind shortstop. Emery Perkins stands in and she takes it just inside with the fastball. Sometimes just the right placement of where that ball is in between the fielders. And Marley just kept right on running. Pitch comes home. It's in the dirt, gets away, and down to third base goes Marley Perkins without a play. That'll be a wild pitch. Emery stands in, chokes up a little bit on that bat. Playing second base today. Du Bois looks the sign from Wood, and she's ready to go. Here it is. Strike on the outside corner with a fastball. Good pitch. That's a pitch you really can't do much with unless you're looking for it, and you dive out over the plate. Perkins ready. So is Du Bois. There's another one right on that edge. Emery didn't appreciate that. I don't think she liked that call. So now she chokes, uh, chokes up a little bit on more in the bat and creeps up a little closer to the plate. 2-2 two -two count, two down. Man a third to pitch in the dirt. Knocked down nicely by Wood. Keeps Perkins right there at third base. Gracie Mae Boone's on deck should Perkins keep it alive here in the top of the first inning. We have no score. Two down, full count. On the hitter, Perkins. The boy's ready. Brings home the pitch. It's inside and low. Goes back to the screen. Actually, nicked, it nicked the batter, so that's a break for the Salem Tigers as it actually nicked Emery Perkins. So the hit by pitch stops play dead and that allows that ball that went back to the screen to just become called a dead ball. And then Marley Perkins cannot advance. So Gracie May Boone will stand in. Gracie May playing shortstop today. She stands in from the right side, right in the middle of that batter's box, waiting for the first pitch from Reagan Du Bois. And it's on its way, a little bit high. Perkins will take second base, unopposed. Marley Perkins at third base. Emery Perkins down to second. Gracie may move the plate. 1 0 count. Du Bois ready. Pitching from the third base side of that pitching rubber. Brings it. And there's a line drive in the left center field. On the run. And it goes in between the Tiger outfielders. One run is going to score. And then two runners are going to score. As going into second base is Gracie May Boone with a two-run double. All started with two out and a little pop fly that went off the glove of Sailor Van Wick out in left field. And since then, a double, or call that double, hit by pitch, and now another double, and Bree Kelly stands in. Two-nothing Lady Cardinals, the pitch, and there's a foul off to the right side on an outside fastball. Ball was 
hit just right in between Van Wick and Fulton. Neither girl could get to it. Gapped him and allowed two runs to come in and score. Pitch to Kelly. It's low, gets away from Wood, and down to third base goes Boone. So runner at third base. Two down, two runs in. Bree Kelly waits. Fouls that one off to the right side. Got behind that fastball. Where's number 27, right-handed batter? At third base, Gracie Mae Boone. A 1 1 pitch from Du Bois, just a little bit low. 2 and 1. Ball goes off the glove, and that's going to bring a run home. And that'll be an error on Wood on the throw back. That ball's in play, and if the catcher or the pitcher makes a bad throw or a bad play, that run can count as 3 0 Steelville as the ball went off the glove of Reagan Du Bois on the wide throw. The pitch that's in the dirt, and that hits the batter, Bree Kelly. So Kelly hit by the pitch. It's the second hit by pitch in the inning by Du Bois. And Aaliyah Decker stands in. Decker playing right field today. A two down, a off the glove double, hit by pitch, a double. Runner going, throw to second base is not in time. Kelly with a stolen base on the first pitch, it was high. In softball, you cannot lead the bag until the pitcher's done throwing the ball. Then you can steal. Pitch comes home, strike on the outside edge. One and one, two down, top of the first. Three runs are in. Tigers trying to get to bat for the first time with Fulton, White, and Wood, the top three. And a pitch, tempted bunt, missed, strike two. And that's actually on the third strike. So Decker goes down on strikes, trying to bunt first strikeout for the pitcher, Reagan Dubois. But three runs on a total of two hits. There was an error and there was no one left. We've played half an inning. It's the Lady Cardinals three. Salem Tigers coming to bat back in a minute. Tiger baseball, I should say Tiger softball, on KSMO Media. Southwest Baptist University campus in Salem provides quality higher education close to home for residents of Dent County and the surrounding areas. The classes at SBU Salem campus are taught in the afternoon and evenings, making a degree attainable for people who are in the workforce or can't afford to go off to get a degree. We offer degrees in nursing, which is an RN bridge program, elementary education. For more information on the degrees and programs, please contact admissions counselor Chris Welch to schedule an appointment as a prospective or returning student. Welcome back. It's going to the bottom of the first inning and bottom of the inning brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance. Willie Strader is your agent out there you want to get in touch with. And Willie can handle all of your insurance needs. It could be home. It could be car. It could be farm. It could be life. Get in touch with Willie at your first convenience, 729-4941. Farm Bureau Insurance, 1414 West Scenic Rivers Boulevard. I always like to thank our great sponsors make it possible for us to bring you Tiger sports and activities like on the spot glass. Their name says it all on the spot glass because they come and fix your glass problems in your vehicle on the spot. Give them a call 247 3608 on the spot glass. A proud supporter of your Salem Tigers. Well, a little, cr a little crackling in the speaker there as. 
Taylor Fulton will stand in. Fulton playing center field. Where's number one? Should be followed by Alexis White and Kylie Wood. We're in the bottom of the first inning, three nothing. Lady Cardinals here to start this home season out cheating in very far is the third baseman, Bree Kelly, in about 12 feet or so. And trying to bunt was Fulton, and she bunts it foul. Taylor stands back in. Left-handed batter deep in the box. Don't see a lot of softball players go deep in the box. Now she'll back out. Take a look down at Coach Kirk. Uh, Coach <laughs> Hayes almost did it again. And the pitch comes in. And a strike on the outside edge. Taylor did not agree. Now she's going to turn around back right-handed. Looking to push that ball left-handed. Now she'll bat right-handed. And the 0-2 comes home, a swing and a miss. High fastball. Pulled down on strikes. And yes, as a switch hitter, you can switch every different pitch. Alexis White will stand in. White wears number 13. No superstition there. She'll get him on the right side. Pitch comes in. From Parkins, and a little pop fly goes back over the head. Brightner couldn't find it in time. The ball wasn't hit that high. Oh, and one to count to White. She gets back in. Almost right on top of that plate. Wants to bunt and misses it. That's a strike. Should be 0 and 2. Tried to bunt that ball and failed in her attempt. One down, the 0 2 pitch comes home and the grounder to first. Right at Woodall, knocks it down and picks it up and steps on the bag. Three unassisted if you're keeping score, and Kylie Wood will stand in. Wood stands in from the right side. A little bit off the plate, swings and misses on an inside fastball. Good pitch by Perkins to tie up Wood. Right in on the handle. Two down, nothing shaking here for the Tigers. Pitch, there's a little line drive, base hit for Wood. Just over the outstretched glove of Kelly at third base. And a little two-out single. That's kind of what happened okay. with Steelville. They got things started with two outs. End up scoring three runs. So Gillum will stand in. Raven is the designated player or your hitter. Wood tying her shoe over there. Thought they might pinch run for Kylie because she's a catcher and allows her to get dressed for the next inning, but... Coach Hayes elects not to. Hard fastball up and in on Gillum. Gillum just a freshman getting put into that number four slot. Gillum with that front toe up in the air. Swings and misses. Was fooled by that pitch. And it's one on one count. At first base, Kylie Wood. Two down. The pitch coming from Perkins. Fastball swing and a miss. Quickly one and two. They play her to go to right center to give it a right field line, or sorry, left field line. And a one, two, up and in, a swing and a miss by Gillum. Got overpowered that time by the senior Marley Perkins, and she strikes out. Two strikeouts in the inning for Perkins. No runs, a hit, no errors, one left. We've played a full inning now at Steelville. Lady Cardinals three, Salem Lady Tigers nothing. Back in a minute, it's Tiger Softball on KSMO Media. Your legacy, protect it, prosper, and pass it on. Stephen Patterson, attorney at law, specializes in real estate, estate planning, probate, 
family law, and business law. A Salem native, Stephen Patterson provides comprehensive representation to clients throughout Southern Missouri. If you need assistance, contact Stephen Patterson, attorney at law, at 573-453-2529. surprisingly great rates contact your local state farm agent today if you want the real deal call state farm agent cameron Irway in salem today like a good neighbor state farm is there we go to the top of the second inning top of the second inning brought to you by jonah schaefer and american family insurance changing deductibles can lower or raise your insurance premiums you know that well, if you're not quite sure about how that works, talk with Jonah, 729-5165, and he can tell you how that happens. Change deductibles. It can be a good thing and maybe not so good thing. Jonah Shaver, your local American family insurance agent. 3 nothing, Lady Cardinals as we go to the top of the second inning. It will be leading it off Tabitha Brown and Marley Eilert in the top of the order, Abby Kreitner. Brown playing left field today. Delaney Brown having an or Delaney Owen having an issue. Found something on the field. She runs back to her position. She's ready to go, as are the rest of the Tiger defenders. As Brown stands in, first pitch from Du Bois. That's in for a strike. Over the inside edge, great afternoon, a little cool. Nice contingent of Salem fans, a little bit light on the Steelville side. Swing and a miss on a nice off-speed pitch, a little bit low and away. Brown cut at it, could not make connections. Quickly 0-2 on the leadoff hitter, Tabitha Brown. Wood gives the sign, and Du Bois is ready. Working from that right hip, off-speed pitch, just low. Looked like a straight change. Brown did not swing. Ball just went low. Had her fooled. One and two to count. Nobody out. Here in a second, there's a line drive foul off to the right side up on the hill. Du Bois back off the pitching rubber, steps back, comes collecting herself back up onto the rubber and is ready, and here it is, inside low, all the way back to the screen. Two and two to count on Brown. Tabitha Brown, right-handed batter. Number eight in the batting lineup waits as the pitch comes home. Ground ball right back to the boys. Off her arm. She can bobbles it, throws it low, and safe. Reagan had it and then could not pick it up, and that'll be an error. Ball hit her in the arm, and then it fell right pretty much to her feet. But then when she reached down to pick it up, she could not, and that was the difference as... Looks like we're going to have a pinch runner in Lydia Smelzer for Brown. Smelzer's waiting, and the umpire's writing it down on their scorecards. So Brown will exit. Smelzer will come in. So coming to the plate now is Marley Eilert. So smells her at first base after the error by Du Bois. Second Salem error in the game. Eiler waits the pitch. That's a strike on the outside corner. Wood looks at first, does not throw down. Smelzer got off about 12 to 15 feet 
Maybe a little quick toss down there after a pitch. Might catch her off guard. The 0-1. Trying to bunt. Bunts it foul. And it's quickly 0-2. Three nothing, Lady Cardinals. We're in the top of the second inning. A couple of hit batsmen, a couple of doubles, and one error bring home the runners. Pitch low in the dirt, runner caught off first base for a minute, but Wood hesitated and did not throw until Smelzer was on her way back. It's kind of play that you either fire it right as soon as you get it. So the runner has, when they come to a stop, has no momentum. Or you just look at it down there and you just, you know, glance them back. That pitch is high. Now the throw down there again. There you go. Good. Two and two. Nobody out, man. First base. That's Lydia Smilzer. Marley Eilert waits. The pitch from Reagan Dubois. Here it comes. And... Strike three call inside corner. Good pitch. Second strikeout. So Abby Kreidner will stand in. Kreidner one hopped over to Alexis White at top of the first thing to start the game, and she threw her out. Pitch outside corner for a strike. Good pitch by Du Bois. Top of the second inning. Smells her at first base. Kreidner ready. So is Du Bois. And here comes the pitch home. High. One on one. Reagan shakes her right hand. A little cool out there today. Tigers bunch in the outfield. Leave the lines open. The pitch. That's high runner going. So the second base is not in time. Smells her with a stolen base. She's in scoring position. One down here. Two and one to count. As Du Bois looks in. Ready brings it. Low. Three and one. Hey, Abby Woodall's on deck. And that ball goes right through the legs of Du Bois. She has to make sure she catches the ball now. Or knocks it down. Otherwise, that runner can take off and advance. Already had one come in on a bad throw back in the first inning. 3-1 pitch, strike on the inside corner. That was absolutely a perfectly placed pitch. Kreidner did not want to try and get that one. It would have jammed her, so she's taking it and ready for the 3-2 pitch, which is on its way. High fly ball, very shallow center field. Getting over to make the catch is Fulton, and there's two down. Abby Woodall stand in. Woodall. Grounded out to Laney Owen her first time up at second base. Woodall, left-handed batter, stands in. On this sunny afternoon here at Salem City Park, 3-0 Lady Cardinals. The pitch comes home. She shows bunt, pulls the bat back, takes it high for a ball. Woodall stands back in, ready to go in the front part of that batter's box. The pitch, there's a line drive into right field. That's over the head of Thompson. That's going to go all the way to the fence. A run's going to score. Woodall will pull up at second base with an RBI double. Not cheated on that swing. She got around and drilled it over Thompson's head in right field. All the way to the fence. Another RBI for the Lady Cardinals. They have three out of their four game in this game. And a lot of them doubles. All three of their hits, they're all doubles. As Parkins stands in and Perkins takes it high. She had a little pop fly that fell off the glove of Sailor Van Wick coming in on left field. And then was able to turn that into a double when the Tigers mishandled it. Just could not get a grip on it on the infield. The pitch, that's here. That's that hit her right in the shoulder. Third hit by pitch. By Du Bois. 
So now two on, two down for Emery Perkins. Emery Perkins got hit by a pitch her first time up. Marley Perkins trying to stretch that shoulder, or the back out and shoulder out where the ball hit her. Took a little extra walk down first base side. Two down, four nothing, Lady Cardinals as Du Bois gets ready to pitch to Emery Perkins. Perkins was hit by a pitch, stole the base, and came around to score on the double by Gracie May Boone. The pitch comes in, it's low, gets away from Wood, and both runners will move up. Somebody needs to cover home, nobody does, and a runner's going to come all the way around to score. So coming all the way around to score in a wild pitch is Woodall, and Perkins ends up at third. Five nothing, Lady Cardinals. That pitch inside at Perkins, two zero. Oh. So many things have to happen, and people are changing positions like they did this year. Forget there's responsibilities that go with those positions. And Du Bois did not cover home plate. And Woodall came from second base on a wild pitch all the way in the score. It's 3-0 now to Perkins. Boone is on deck. Runner at third base. Two down the pitch. It's low. First walk of the inning. First and third and not even looking going all the way to second. It's just Perkins. And so Hayes was on her way to mound when the runner, Perkins, decided to just keep on going. Nobody from San was really watching her, but Hayes had called timeout to come out and talk to her hurdler. So in the first inning, a little pop fly double off the glove of the Salem Tigers, off a couple of gloves of Salem Tigers, and then a hit by pitch. Stolen base and a double by Gracie May Boone. That drove in two. And then while Gracie May was at second, she moved to third on a wild pitch and scored on a throwing error by Kylie Wood back to the pitcher, Du Bois, as it eluded her, and she came to make it three to nothing. And then here in a second, an error by Du Bois on the first hitter off the ball hitter in the arm, and then she went to reach down and pick it up and then bobbled it. Stolen base. She came around the double by Abby Woodall. And then while Emily Perkins is at the plate, after Marley Perkins had been hit by a pitch, a wild pitch, sent Woodall all the way home from second base. And Marley went to third. Pitch on outside corner as a runner steals second. Second and third, two down, two runs in, five nothing. Steelville Cardinals here in the second inning. Pitch comes home, high pop up on the infield, backing up and making the catch at third base for the Salem Lady Tigers is Shaley Thomas. So pop out by Boone to the infielder. Thomas retires the side, but now before two runs on a total of one hit. There were two errors in the inning. Actually, we're just going to leave it at one. There's a wild pitch there. And there was one girl left. We have now played. Actually, two girls left. We have now played inning and a half. We go to the bottom of the second inning with Steelville up five to nothing. We'll come back in a minute. It's Tiger Softball on KSMO Media. With tax season fast approaching, you might have some questions that you need answered. If so, give the tax masters a call. They have over 40 years of experience and can handle all types of accounting services plus certified e-filing. Don't ever let yourself be a slave to the IRS. Come and see Jackie or Beth at Tax Masters located at 107 West 4th Street here in Salem or call 729-3001. Otero Complete Auto Care is a full-service auto repair center in Salem. They offer full-service oil changes as well as $2 discounts on Tuesdays for all ladies, and Wednesday is Senior Citizen Day. Plus, Taro Complete Auto Care can take care of all your auto and diesel repair needs. 
They offer free pickup and delivery in town. James and Sheena and the staff of Tarot Complete Auto Care are proud to support the Salem Tigers. Hey, we always like our sponsors help us bring you Salem Tiger activities and athletics like United Country Salem Realty. Babette Wells, your broker owner. Get in touch with Babette or any of the great staff at United Country Salem Realty, and they can help you find the right property that you're looking for or help you sell the property that you no longer need or want. Very good. United Country Salem Realty, just give them a call, 729-3148. Bob and Yenning. It's brought to you by your friends at Willie Strader Farm Bureau Insurance. And if you have a question, call 729-4941. It can be something as simple as what kind of coverage do you think you need or is it right coverage? Or should you raise your limits? Get in touch with Willie, 729-4941. Willie Strader Farm Bureau Insurance. Line drive down the left field line. That's a fair ball. Two boys will make the turn. She'll go for the second base, and she'll get it easily. Reagan hit kind of one of those knuckleballs down the third base line. Ball hit the end of the bat, so she got out in front of that off-speed pitch, drove it right down the third base line, reaching for it was Kelly, but the ball was sinking quick and ended up being a double right down the line to lead things off here in a second. Pitch comes in to McCurin, and that's a strike. Shaley Thomas on deck, then Delaney Owen. Tigers need a couple of hits. Get back in this one. Trail it five to nothing. Pitch coming from Marley Perkins. It's in there for a strike. Just right at the knees. Huron at the plate. Big yellow ribbon on her hair. 0-2 oh count. The pitch comes home. There's a little line drive in the center field. That's going to fall for a base hit. Du Bois did not read it well, and she stays at second base. So Mahurin gets a single, and it's first and second with nobody out. Shaley Thomas will stand in. Reagan played it cautiously, but maybe a little too cautiously and did not advance to third once the ball had dropped. An outfielder giving Salem the left field line. So they can hit it down there. It's all theirs. Right now you have the right fielder, Decker, playing toward the line. Center fielder, Eilert, is way over in right center. And the left fielder, Brown, is out in left center. There's a high pop-up on the infield. Who's going to get it? And coming over to make the catch is Woodall. Thomas went down and skied one on the infield. But it was in foul territory in front of the Steelville bench. Number 18, Delaney Owen. One down now on the pop fly in foul territory. No infield fly rule. Not needed on the foul pop. Pitch, swing and a miss. Lenny Owen swinging and missing on that hard fastball down and away. Owen back in, slightly open stance. Stands with that right foot near the line, and that ball came out of the hand of Perkins. In baseball, that's a balk. In softball, they don't have a balk like that for that call. Pitch comes in, a line drive foul. That's just right over the Steelville dugout. Owen to the count, Delaney Owen. I'm sorry, one and two to count, excuse me. Waiting for Woodall to get back after chasing the ball down. Again, they lead a left field line for Owen. Owen had a home run last year in district play. Pitch comes home. Hi. Two and two. Two boys at second. Brooke McHuron at first base. One down. Pitch comes home. That's a fastball just a little bit high. Well, good velocity on that one by Perkins, but makes it a 3-2 count. Kelly right at the bag of third. The pitch and jammed. Owen, she swings and misses. She foul tipped it, but it was held onto by the catcher. She's down on strikes. Up next. 
And the Tigers, left fielder, number two, Sailor Van Wyk. The Van Wyk will stand in. Right-handed batter. Again, they leave the left field line wide open. Right in Baylor, Sailor Van Wyk, and that pitch down and in. Two on, two out now. Two on with nobody out. Tigers fouled out, struck out. Need a hit here to bring a run in. The pitch. It's just a little bit low with a good fastball. Perkins has a good fastball, no doubt about it. She has a riding fastball, one that sinks down and in. The pitch. That's the riding fastball, but it goes high, and it's 3-0. Top of the order, Taylor Fulton's on deck. 5-0, Steelville. We're in the bottom of the second inning. And the pitch to Van Wyk. Inside corner for a strike. Sailor gets back in. The stretch from Perkins. Here it is. And a foul straight back over the press box and the fence and into the parking lot or by the concession stand. Here at the Salem City Field, welcome you to come on out and enjoy some softball action. Salem and Steelville. Van Wyk waits the pitch. Foul down the right side going out of play up on the hill again. We'll be at the Salem Baseball Field Complex tomorrow when Salem plays Potosi. Pitch comes in, a chopper right at the plate, but foul. And Van Wyk stays alive. 4.30 game time tomorrow, Salem and the Trojans from Potosi. Hope you join us for that one tomorrow. On video only, there's a foul again as Van Wyk stays alive. Good hard fastball down and in. She fouled it back. Opening day for the Cardinals tomorrow. They'll be in L.A. to take on the Dodges. 310 game time. And we'll have that on KSMO Radio, AM 1340, FM 95.7. The pitch to Van Wyk. Swing and a miss on a straight change. She had her out in front. Good pitch there by Perkins to get the Tiger left fielder. Two hits, two left on base. No runs, two hits, no errors, two left we played two. We go to the third inning. It's 5 nothing. Steelville back in a minute. It's Tiger Softball on KSMO Media. This is Mike Elliott from Town & Country Insurance. As an independent agent, we shop many different companies, allowing us to find the best value for our clients. Town & Country Insurance has been serving South Central Missouri since 1963. We have offices in Salem, Rolla, Licking and Mountain Grove, and we welcome an opportunity to show you what we can do for you. Stop by 400 West Scenic Rivers Boulevard, located inside the Town Country Bank, where you can call our office at 729 6624. No matter what, every morning, farmers go to work doing what needs done. The work is unforgiving, the days are long real long. They nurture, they grow, they harvest. When the day is done, sell the fruits of your labor to your neighbors on Town Screen. <laughs> Welcome back to Salem City Park. We're here for softball action today as Reagan Du Bois warms up with Kylie Wood. About ready to throw this one down. And they do. It's ready to start this third inning. Top of the inning brought to you as a courtesy of Jonas Schaefer and your local American family insurance agent. If you know that your credit rating is affecting your insurance, how do you handle it? Well, make sure you talk with Jonah. That's a very important thing when you're trying to buy insurance, your credit rating. Find out how. Call 729-5165 or stop by 1104 South Main Street. Jonah Schaefer, American Family Insurance. Standing in, Bree Kelly, she'll lead things off. She'll be followed by Leah Decker and then Brown. Here in the third inning. Five nothing, there's a ground ball at the middle. That's gonna be a base hit. Yeah. 
Kelly with her first hit. She's one for one. She was hit by a pitcher first time. So standing in is checking and double checking as Maddie Boone stands in to pinch hit for Bree Kelly. So Boone at the plate as the pitch comes home. Swing and a miss. Runner going. Throw to second base and not in time. So Kelly at second base, Boone, who's batting for Decker, waits, shows bunt, misses the bunt. Ball was up, and Boone tried to get it. 0-2 the count. Maddie Boone, right-handed batter, pinch hitting for Leah Decker. As the 0-2 comes home, swing and a miss. Struck her out on a high fastball. That is strikeout number three. Far do boys and Tabitha Brown will stand in. Brown reached on air on a ball off the arm of Du Bois back in the second inning and then ended up scoring after being pinch run for by Lydia Smelzer. The pitch, inside corner for a strike, dandy pitch, right there on the black. In a place, very hard to hit that ball. You didn't do anything with it. You might be able to make contact, but you don't want to foul it or tap it. Here's a ground ball up the middle, and through it goes beyond White, and the run's going to score to make it six to nothing. Tether Brown hit that one just perfectly. To the left of White is snuck through. Kelly comes in to score. Six nothing score. Fifth hit for Steelville. First, well, not first, because Kelly got the first single. So Brown with a second single. Every other hit that Steelville had was a double up until that point. Pitch comes to Eiler. And it's a little bit low, and I throw to first base, knocked down by McHuron. The no pinch runner this time for Brown. She's at first base. Du Bois looks in, gets the sign. Ready brings it. It's in the dirt, knocked down, and down to second goes Brown on the wild pitch. Top of the third inning, six to nothing, Steelville. Lady Tigers with a two and three record coming into this game. That's a strike. Nice pitch by Du Bois. Two and one. Game that was rained out yesterday will be made up next Tuesday, April 2nd, right here in the Salem City Park. The pitch. Ooh, just missed inside and low. Three and one. Marley Eilert waits. She struck out her first time up. Two boys, the sign ready. Brings it. There's a line driving to right. That's going to fall for a base hit. Runner's going to turn and come home as the throw goes into second base. It's 7 to nothing. Off the fist, the ball's lined into right field, and that's an RBI single. And Brown comes around to score. It's seven to nothing, Steelville. Standing in is top of the order, Abby Kreitner takes a strike. Runner will take the bag easily. Two runs in the second, two runs here in the third. First inning was a three run inning. And Steelville has only one out. Ball in the dirt gets away and down to 
third base will go Eilert. So a stolen base and now a wild pitch. And Kreidner, who's hit the ball to short and center, stands in right now. And a pitch up and in. Tigers straight away for this hitter in the outfield. Cheat a little bit to left in the infield. That pitch all the way back to the screen. Comes back. Throw to, to home is not in time. And the runner, Eilert, comes in to score on the wild pitch. That went all the way back to the screen on a fly. Three runs in this setting, and it's eight to nothing. Still just one out as Kreitner waits the pitch. That's in the dirt. Ball four. Second walk given up. Three hit by pitches by Dubois, but second walk. Coach Hayes. Talk about making some changes on the infield. I think Du Bois may go behind the plate now as Wood will come out. So we'll see who Coach Hayes wants to put in there and as Du Bois will strap on the catching gear here in this top of the third inning. Now Reagan just couldn't buy a break in this one. Little pop fly that goes off a glove for a hit. An error by ball off her arm and stuff. And ball's not hit very hard, but they fall in. And that's all it takes. And next thing you know is you're giving up four, five, six runs. So the Salem Tigers, Du Bois will go back to play at catcher. Coming in to pitch is Alexis White. And right now it looks like Kylie Wood will take her position at shortstop. So White in the pitch. Wood goes from catcher to short. And Du Bois goes from pitch to catch. So Du Bois has given up eight runs so far. There is a runner still on base. She finishes up with three strikeouts. She walked two in the game and hit three. And she gave up a total of six hits in this game. One out here. In this, the third inning. Two and a third innings for Du Bois. Six hits so far. Eight runs of which. Four of them will be earned. Could be another run. If this runner first place scores, that could be tacked on to her totals. But we'll see if Alexis White can put out the fire. Eight nothing Steelville or in the third inning. Cardinal, Cardinals have been hitting up and down. A lot of different people have been on base. Only the seventh position where Lia Decker struck out her first time and then it was Maddie Boone who struck out in the third inning has not been on base since Abby Kreitner got the walk her first time on base. So pitching change here coming with one out in the third inning. Abby Woodall, left-handed batter, standing in. Runner goes, the pitch, the throw down the second way off line as Kreidner steals second base. Wide ready brings it. That's high to an O. Lexus waits for Woodall to get back into the box. Pitch comes in. That's in the dirt. Goes back to the screen. 
And the runner will jog down to third base. Two on the count. Woodall looking for something good to hit. She doubled a rider last time up, drove in a run. That pitch, an off-speed pitch is inside and makes it three and one. Wide trying to throw an off-speed pitch and try and dance it to the inside. That ball missed the plate by a couple inches. There's one up and in as well, and that's another walk. So Marley Perkins will stand in. She has doubled off the glove of Van Wyck in left field and was hit by a pitch up around the shoulder area. Has scored a run. Was left on base back in the second. Marley gets back in. Alexis White has come in and throws the strike as the runner takes second base. Perkins has scored a run in this game. One for one, officially. Pitch is high. 2-0. Oh. I'm sorry, 1-1, one one. excuse me. Thomas, just a couple strides in front of third base. Second and third, and the pitch, ground ball, base hit into the hole. One run is in, and they get the ball back in. The runner's going to go to second base, and the Tigers do not react. So Perkins with the RBI single makes it 9 and nothing, and that's going to close the book on Reagan Dubois. That run is an earned run. The pitch way high to Emery Perkins, seven, the eighth girl to bat in this inning. Pitch comes home. That's high again. So four runs in in this inning. All four are earned. The pitch, there's a ball line over the head of the pitcher. Runner's going to try and score. The throw comes home, and she's out. After one run had already come in, Woodall had scored, and then Perkins tried to score. She's thrown out. 4-2 on that foot out, and there's two down. As Perkins gets the RBI single to drive in a run, but the second run out. On the throw from Delaney Owen to the catcher, who is now Reagan Dubois. Two down, that pitch is high from Alexis White. It's 10 to nothing. With five runs coming in here into the third inning. Gracie Mae Boone, a ninth girl to bat in the inning, is up the pitch. There's a high fly ball in the center field. Here comes Fulton, and she missed it. Went right off the edge of her glove. Another run's going to score, and that makes it 11 to nothing. And that'll be an error. Fulton came in and had that ball measured and virtually just reached up and missed it. Went right off of her glove. Perkins comes around to score to make it 11 to nothing. And now here we go to Bree Kelly, who started out with a base hit up the middle. There's a bad throw back to the pitcher, and that allows the runner to move up. Eleven, nothing. Our score. The pitch a swing and a miss by Kelly on the off-speed pitch. Gracie May Boone a third. The pitch outside low, knocked down there by Du Bois. Third inning action, six runs in for the Lady Cardinals. Pitch to Kelly outside. 
two, three and one. White gets the ball back, ready to go, throws this one in. It's even higher, and that'll be another walk. So White has come in and given up two walks and two hits and an error behind her on a fly ball to center. So Lia Decker will stand in after Boone hit for her earlier in the inning, and the umpire has to... Go back and change that scorecard again. I always like thanking our great sponsors make it possible for us to bring you Tiger Softball and Baseball and other activities by Meadows Ark Animal Health Center Incorporated. You can get in touch with Ashley Cunningham or drop by at 900 West Scenic Earth Boulevard or call 729-4031, 729-4031. So Elia Decker will get back in the hit. She waits, and the first pitch comes home. That's inside, just missed inside as Kelly heads on down to second base. Decker struck out back in the first inning. The pitch, swing and a miss. Owens to the count. Tigers will have the top of the order coming up in their third inning. They trail it by 11. The pitch, high. One and two. Lady Cardinals. Waiting with second and third. That pitch is in the dirt. Taken by Du Bois. Two and two. Five hits this setting for Steelville. And the pitch is half just foul. Total of eight hits in the game for Steelville. Aliyah Decker steps out. The coach asks her to back out, giving her a sign. Tabitha Brown waits on deck. 2-2 Two -two pitch. Ball three. A little bit high. <laughs> Alexis White struggling a little bit on that mound. Can defense a walk. And uh, the 3-2. That's high. Ball four. So after Decker was down in the count, 0-2, oh she works a walk. And the bases are loaded with Boone at third, Kelly at second, Decker at first for Tabitha Brown, who singled her last time up. She also reached on an error by Du Bois back when she was pitching off her arm. The pitch is down and in. We're in the third inning, 11 nothing Steelville. Pitch to Brown, comes home. There's a high pop-up. Left side, who's going to get it? Wood is over and makes the catch. Nice play by Wood to get over there and get that pop-up, and that retires the side, but not until six runs score on a total of five hits. Three girls left, and I don't believe there's an error in that inning, and all the runs we are earned. No errors. Six runs, five hits, no errors, three left. We have now played two and a half. We go to the bottom of the third inning. 11 nothing. Steelville back in a minute. It's Tiger Softball on KSMO Media. It's only because of our incredible sponsors that we're able to bring you Salem Tiger Sports and community events. Some of these sponsors include New Life Auto, Tater's Sporting Good and Taxidermy, Melvin Motors and more, On the Spot Auto Glass, Looking Glass Salon, Flying W Boutique, Hubs Tire Center, and Ozark Overhead Door. Be sure to thank these sponsors the next time you see them for bringing you Salem Tiger Sports and community events. Sorry, Dad. Sure, you could get.
get him a new car, you could also light a pile of money on fire. Because as long as Mr. It Wasn't My Fault takes the wheel on occasion, maintaining this car is your best option. So keep it running longer, stronger, Sorry. with quality parts and a whole lot of Napa know-how. Dad, where are you going? We go to the bottom of the third inning. It's brought to you by Willie Strader, Farm Bureau Insurance Agent. If you have a need for insurance, be it for car, your home health, maybe renter's insurance, might be some other type of insurance you might need, like life insurance. Get in touch with Willie. There's a number of different programs and plans that are available. He can help. 729-4941 or drop by 1414 West Sinegers Boulevard. Willie Strader, Farm Bureau Insurance. little huddle on the mound here as we get ready to go to the third inning. Don't forget your friends at New Life Auto can put New Life into your auto. Call them at 453-4812. They're out at 583 Highway 68 to the north. Checking out New Life Auto. Proud supporter of your Lady Tigers. The Lady Tigers, center fielder, number one, Taylor Fulton. Taylor Fulton will stand in. She struck out her first time. Batting on the left side, tried to bunt her way on, missed the first bunt, fouled it, and then swing and misses, and then strike out from the right side. Shows bunt, tries to push it, missed it. 0-1. Tigers need a lot of base runners here. They'll try to put them on any way they can. Bree Kelly really cheats down the third base line now, about 20 feet inside the bag. The pitch coming up and faking that bunt was Fulton. Ball eludes. Abby Kreitner, their catcher. Marley Perkins on the hill. She's given up. Three hits in the game, but has kept Salem off the board. That pitch is up and in. As Fulton started to dance her way toward the plate. Brushed her back a little bit. Stands back in. Squats down and waits. 2-1 comes home. Just missed outside. 3-1. and one. <laughs> Pulled and waits. Pitch from Perkins. That's a strike. Right down the middle. Shallow in the outfield for Fulton. Shallow in the infield for Fulton. I mean, really shallow in the outfield. The pitch, strike three call. She's out on a nice pitch by Perkins over the outside corner. That is her fifth strikeout. So White will stand in. White grounded out hard her first time to first. And she gets in. Facing Marley Perkins. Hooting and hollering over in that Lady Tiger dugout. And the pitch comes. She bunts it foul. Kreitner was screened out by the umpire. She turned into the umpire. She could not find the ball. As it dangled in the air for a second or so. Back in is White. Perkins ready. Pitch. It's a line drive right at the second baseman. Emery Perkins didn't have to move at all, but that ball was hit right on the mose, right at Perkins. Five, Two down. Kylie Wood. Kylie Wood will stand in. Kylie went from catcher out to shortstop back in that third inning. Pitch comes home. It's a bowling pitch right to the feet of Wood. And Marley lost that one as she went to throw it right along the ground. Wood got a base hit first time up down the left field line. The pitch. There's a foul off the fist. Inside fastball. 11 nothing. Steelville. We're in the bottom of the third. They got three in the first, two in the second, six in the third. By the way, there was an error in that third inning on the fly ball to center. 
Six runs, five of them earned. As the pitch from Perkins comes in, there's a high pop-up on the infield. Perkins calls for it and missed it. But the ball's a foul ball. Ball's a foul ball. She never did touch it. Went right by her glove, but fell foul. And like a nine iron sat and it hits this dirt right now. It's still a little bit moist and just died right there. One and two to count. Raven Gillum on deck. Perkins ready. The one, two. Strike three. What a fastball on the outside edge. She blew it right by Wood. Six strikeouts now for Perkins. Nothing across the Salem Tigers. They go down in order. One, two, three. We go to the top of the fourth inning with the Lady Cardinals of Steelville. Out in front, 11 to nothing. We'll come back in one minute. It's Tiger Softball on KSMO Media. Save on everyday items with digital coupons at Town & Country Supermarkets. It's easy. Download the Town & Country Markets app and browse through a variety of digital coupons available. Then clip them to your account. You can also clip digital coupons online at tcmarkets.com. Shop in the store for your favorite items, then tell us your phone number at checkout, and the digital coupons will be deducted from your purchase automatically. Scan this QR code to learn more and start saving more today. Life's better when you're under our roof. Because when you feel totally protected, you're free to enjoy your dreams. Bundle auto, home, and life and save up to 25%. American Family Insurance. To the top of the fourth we go. It's being brought to you by your friends at Jonah Schaefer and American Family Insurance. You know, there are different types of life insurance. You've got whole life and you've got term and you've got other types of life insurance policies. Which one is the right one for you? Call Jonah, 729-5165. Jonah Schaefer and American Family Insurance. Well, here we go to the fourth inning. Steelville sent 12 girls to the plate back in the third. Scored five, uh, sorry, six times. Five of them earned. They will have Marley Eilert to start things out. And a first pitch strike by Alexis White. White pitched the final two-thirds of that third inning. Got charged with two runs. One of the, uh, None of them earned. There's a ground ball over to Wood who throws out. Eilert, 6-3 on that put out. And the pitch comes in low and away. As Abby Kreitner stands in. Abby's 0 for, 3, or 0 for 2 with a walk. Run scored. Pitch coming from White. Here it comes. Looks like a straight change. It's a little bit high. 2 0. 11 0. Lady Cardinals. Right handed batter. Abby Kreitner takes it high. 3 0. We'll be in the Salem Baseball Field Complex tomorrow. Salem Tiger Baseball against Potosi. 4.30 game time. That's a strike on the outside edge. We'll be streaming that game only on KSMO Media. That's right. Only the stream as it's opening day for the Cardinals. They'll be down in the Dodges. And they'll be at 2.15 pregame. And also we'll have the game at 3. 3.15. Nice play by Kylie Wood on a three hopper. Hit by Kreitner, throws her out 6-3 and two down for Abby Woodall. Woodall has doubled, walk, scored twice. Woodall fouls that one at the plate. Woodall hit one over the head of Thompson back in that second inning, drove in a run, and she walked 
Back in the third. Worry number 12, Woodall from the left side. Hits one out toward left center. Van White comes on and hits the ball up in the air to Taylor Fulton who makes the catch. On that catch, little assist by seven. And it's fly out to eight with an assist by seven to retire the side and down in order go to Steelville Cardinals as Fulton gets that off the glove of Van Wyck. Nothing across for the Steelville Lady Cardinals down in order. One, two, three. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning with the Salem Lady Tigers trailing the Lady Cardinals. 11 to nothing. We'll come back in one minute. It's Tiger Softball on KSMO Media. The Bank of Salem was founded in 1883 on the principles of local ownership, a commitment to the people of our community, local decisions, and a conservative approach to banking. As one of the oldest locally owned banks in the Ozarks, we've had the privilege to serve generations of local families. We pride ourselves on dedication to our customers and the people of Dent County, and we take pride in being an important part of it for years to come. The Bank of Salem, member FDIC, equal housing lender. I'm Dr. Tiffany Bland with Salem Memorial District Hospital. Recently, there have been many changes within our local clinics and hospitals, and you may find yourself looking for a new provider for your children. At SMDH, we would like to reach out to the community to let you know that we do see patients of all ages. Most of our providers are family practice, which means that we have been trained to see well-child visits as well as sick visits. Salem Memorial District Hospital. Every patient, every encounter, every time. Back to the Salem City Park for this game between the Salem Tigers and Steelville Cardinals. This is the varsity matchup. Glad to be along with you, Stan Stevens, the KSMO media team. Appreciate you all here. Raven Gillum's going to lead things off. Tigers have three hits in the game, but not able to penetrate. Had two on, nobody out back in the second, but popped out, and then two strikeouts killed that threat. But it will be Gillum, Du Bois, and then Brock Mahurin. So Gillum will stand in, just a freshman, and Raven gets the opportunity to bat in the number four slot. Facing Marley Perkins. Perkins has done a good job. She has really moved that ball up and down well, and there's a ground ball foul by Gillum, who was just absolutely overwhelmed in her first at-bat. So six strikeouts for the Cardinal pitcher out of the nine outs recorded. She's ready, brings it home, a swing and a miss, a straight change as Gillum got way out in front. Kelly even with a bag of third. Straight away in the outfield, he'll really bunch this one over toward Rice Field. The pitch. That's strike three call. Right down the middle with a good hard fastball. And that is strikeout number seven for Perkins. And Reagan Dubois, who doubled on the third base line, stands in. Reagan was at second base when Muir got a base hit, but did not advance. Ball was a line drive off the middle. She thought it might get caught and then did not try to advance after the ball fell to the ground. Pitch is low and in the dirt. To the bottom of the fourth, we are. Bottom of the fourth inning brought to you by Willie Strader and Farm Bureau Insurance, 1414 West Scenic Rivers Boulevard right here in Salem. Pitch goes outside. If you have a need to get in touch with Willie, for no matter what time insurance it might be, call 729-4941. Pitch comes home. That's right down the middle. Like Reagan was taken all the way, took that one. 2-1 the count on Reagan Du Bois. Working from the rubber on the far right side of the rubber, which is the left-hand side over by third base. Left hand as you look at it is Marley Perkins. That pitch just missed inside. 3-0. and A 3-1, and one, excuse me. As the next one comes home from Perkins, it's in the dirt. Ball four. 
First Tiger to reach since Muren got the base hit. So a one out walk, first walk of the game by Perkins. So Brooke Muren will stand in. As I mentioned, she singled up the middle her first time. The pitch comes home, it goes off the glove of the catcher back to the screen. Du Bois was on the fly to begin with, so a stolen base, and now diving back in as the throw went down to second as Gracie May Boone tried to put the tag on. One on, one out, the pitch gets up again by the catcher, this time on a wild pitch. And down to third base goes Du Bois. One on, one out. Muren trying to break this zero on that board. That pitch way high with a fastball. 3-0. Hey, right Shaley Thomas on deck. They give the left field line to Brooke Muren. She waits the pitch. High ball. Another walk. Two walks back to back after no walks in the whole game. And Shaley Thomas will stand in. Number eight, Shaley Thomas. Coach wants to go out and visit, so he'll gather the infielders around. I want to tell you, we always thank our great sponsors that make it possible for us to bring you Tiger baseball and Tiger softball and the parades and all that good stuff. Well, like Melvin Motors and more. Stop on by and see them. Out of 120, Route W, 338-2917 is their number. Check things out there at Melvin Motors and More. Maybe find something perfect for you. Melvin Motors and More, 120, Route W in Salem. Appreciate you being with us on your Wednesday afternoon. Cardinals got three runs in the first inning. I'll call up. Really all with two out. They got everything. Then in the second inning, they started things out with an error, and it just got better, but still only one on with two out in the second inning. And then they got a double hit by pitch and a walk to add to that lead. Made it 5 nothing after two. And then the third inning, it all got started with a walk, a base hit, and then a strikeout, base hit, base hit, walk, walk, walk. And then the base hit and the fly ball on the right field line. That's trouble, and that's a fair ball. It's going to break the shutout as the run comes in to score to make it 14-1. to one. Du Bois crosses the plate as Thomas doubles down the right field line. Fair by about two feet. Lady Tigers, senior, second baseman, number 18, Delaney Owen. Oh, Delaney Owen will stand in. Thomas got behind that ball and hit it right down the right field line. Fair by two feet. Gets the RBI, and the Tigers break that schneid. Well, the walk comes back to haunt Marley Perkins. Actually, she walked two. And a swing and a miss. Delaney just behind that fastball. Imagine Salem Tigers with a total of four hits in a game. Perkins looks in, ready. Second and third, the pitch. Outside corner, strike two. Delaney trying to plead her case. I can't hit that ball. Well, if he's going to call it, you better hit it. One and two to count. And a pitch. Foul straight back. Yeah, yeah, we'll foul that one off. Another good pitch at outside edge by Marley Perkins. Still just one out. Sailor Van White comes up there in a straight change, and Owen is called out. She was fooled big time on that one, and that happens. You're looking for that heater. And they throw that just straight change. You give up on it, and then it falls right in for that strike three call. So Van Weigel stand in. She struck out her last time up. 
and takes a ball. 11-1 our score. We're in the bottom of the fourth inning. Bergens brings it. Chap foul at the plate. Bergens wearing some fashionable shades out there. As the sun comes in from the over top of the community center at the Army, right into the eyes. That pitch is high with a change. No advancement by Brooke Meheran on the ball that glanced off the glove of the catcher, Abby Kreitner. Left field wide open for Van Wyke as the pitch comes home. Ooh, just a little bit low. Top of the order waits on deck. 3-1 to count. Marley Perkins trying to pitch out of this jam. The pitch comes home. Strike on the outside corner. Make it 3-2. and two. A strikeout, a walk, a walk, a double, an RBI, and a strikeout. Now Van Wyke takes a ball, ball four, and the bases will be loaded. For Taylor Fulton. Fulton has struck out twice. Okay, for the Lady Tigers, number one, Taylor Fulton. Bergen's ready, brings it in, a swing and a miss. Eight strikeouts for this young hurler. She checks her wristband. Nowhere to put this runner. Bases loaded the pitch, swing and a miss, and a high fastball. Bergen's not fooling around. Two high hard ones and blew them right by Fulton. Here comes another, a swing and a miss. She struck her out, is down, uh, striking out all three times as Taylor Fulton and this. Also, they struck out everybody in the side. But the Salem Tigers do score a run. They do so on a total of one hit. Three walks, three left. We have now played four full innings. It's Steelville 11, Salem 1. Back in one minute, it's Tiger Softball on KSMO Media. Duncan Family Chiropractic provides chiropractic care to everyone from newborn to elderly. Dr. Duncan treats wellness, sports injuries, chronic ear infections, pregnancy, and more. Ask Dr. Duncan about your full line of supplements, including Juice Plus and Standard Process Supplements, as well as pain relief, BioFreeze products. If you have the audacity to believe a financial advisor should talk with you, not at you. If you believe access to your financial advisor should be a right, not a privilege. Join the nearly 7 million investors who think like you do. FaceTime and ThinkTime make a difference. Join us. Join us. At Edward Jones, it's how we make sense of investing. To the top of the fifth we go, and that top of the fifth is brought to you by your friends at Jonas Schaefer, your local American family insurance agent. Do you have new additions to your family? Well, you might. And if you do, you know you need to get that insurance coverage up to date. Call Jonah, 729-5165. Jonah Schaefer, American family insurance agent. Standing in, be Marley Perkins. Perkins has singled, doubled, and hit by a pitch. She bunts. Problem's going to be there. She's way past that bag before White can even get to it. Wow, what a nice bunt that was. So Marley Perkins had a bunt single, her third hit. And Emery Perkins will stand in. She's one for one with a walk, a hit batsman. So Marley Perkins, three for three. She was also hit by a pitch. And that pitch is a little bit high to Emery Perkins. So... Bergen's girls doing a good job of getting on base all seven times they've been to the plate. Emery waits right now. The pitch. 
She looks to bunt and strike. Throw goes to second base, but not in time. Gracie Mae Boone and Bree Kelly will follow. We're in the fifth inning. As Perkins gets a base hit in the left field. Making the turn and coming home. Throw comes home and just not in time. Though the second base is not in time as Emery kept running on down after the base hit, the RBI base hit, I might add. And Marley comes in to make it 12 to 1. Gracie May Boone double back in the first inning and put Steelville on top. They've not trailed since. Tap of the plate, foul. She's also popped out to third and reached an error by Fulton out in center field. One for three. Tonight, pitch outside and low. So Marley Perkins has scored two runs. Emery has scored two runs. She's back out there at the second base with nobody out in the pitch way too high. Two and one to count on Gracie May. Bree Kelly, who has been hit by a pitch and walked and singled, stands on deck. Pitch. Ooh, nice pitch, but no call. Just didn't get it. Alexis looked for that one. Did not get the call. Three and one to count. Alexis White taking over in the third inning for Reagan Dubois. Gets that one over the outside edge for a strike. Three and two to count. Gracie May Boone. Standing in. The pitch comes home. Line drive, that's in the left field for a base hit. Knocked down there by Van White, but she gets it back in, but a run's going to score. And now Drunner is caught between first and second. The throw by Du Bois gets away from Owen. So a single by Gracie May Boone brings in another run to make it 13-1. to one. Then the Tigers actually had her trap between first and second, but a throwing error by Reagan Dubois in the dirt. Owen could not knock it down. The ball went out in the right center field, and Gracie May ends up at third base. Well, the coach for Steelville is talking to the home plate umpire about making a change. Right now, Bree Kelly's standing at the plate. Gracie May is still standing at third. Don't see any changes being made yet. Do want to tell you, we will be at the Salem High School Baseball Field Complex tomorrow for Salem Tiger Baseball. 4.30 game time against the Potosi Trojans. 4.15 with Tiger Talk coach Tony Edwards. It's also opening day tomorrow. Cardinals will be in the Los Angeles. And Los Angeles area. So making some changes. So we got some new players that will be checking in. But not currently at the plate and not currently on base. I'm not sure really why the Steelville coach called time to give those changes. But Kelly's at the plate. Pitch is low. Bree has walked, been hit by a pitch and singled, scored a run. One for one officially. Lyon Decker 0 for 2, or I'm sorry, one, 0 for 1 in the game and then Maddie Boone 0 for 1. There's a strike on the off-speed pitch to Bree Kelly. 13-1, Steelville. Still batting with nobody down here in the fifth inning. There's a smash foul toward the Steelville dugout. Have to chase that ball down, and home plate number had another ball, so let's keep on trucking.
Cool afternoon here in Salem. But the bats for Steelville have been hot to pitch. That's high. Two and two. Kelly looking for her second hit or fourth time on base. The pitch oh, right there on the outside edge. She's called out on strikes. First strikeout of the day for Alexis White. So Jasmine Hurd will stand in. The pitch in the dirt. Jasmine's first plate appearance. Swing and a miss. One and one. One out. Runner third base. That's Gracie May Boone. Pitch coming to her. Swing and a miss. On one just tantalizingly slow. Kind of right up in her eyes. One and two. The pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck her out. White with two strikeouts now. And Tabitha Brown, who would be batting at this time, will hand it over to Lydia Smelzer. Smelzer takes it way high. So had three different hitters. That batted in that position. And each went over one in that seventh slot. Lydia smells her at the plate, right handed batter. 2 0 count. High pop up on the infield. Wood calls for it, makes the catch to retire the side. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and one girl left. We've now played four and a half. To the bottom of the fifth we go. It's Steelville 13, Salem 1. We'll come back in a minute. It's Tiger Bait, uh, Softball excuse me, on KSMO Media. Hi, I'm Susie Cahill, Director of Healthy Dent County Fitness Center. Are you looking for a place to begin your journey to better health? Come inside. Never in my life have I been in another atmosphere where everyone was so friendly and eager to help others. It's not just the staff, it's the members. They're so passionate about what they do and so excited to help you. If you're ready to begin your journey to better health, come by and see us. There's a place for do-it-yourselfers with everything for your Stop by K&H Auto Supply where you'll find these great deals. Windex windshield washer fluid, two for $11. Blue Devil radiator flush for $6.99 for the 32-ounce size. And Blue Devil hard gasket sealed for $49.99 for the 32-ounce size. K&H Auto Supply is your Park City Auto Parts store in Salem. Park City. Yeah, Park City. Park City. Lady Tigers. Number 13. Welcome back, Salem City Park. Why? Standing in is Alexis White. She'll lead things off. She's lined out to second, grounded out hard to first. Tigers need a lot. They need at least three to keep this game going. Pitch comes home, fastball down and in, ball one. Checking things out as Marley Perkins brings it home, a swing and a miss. One and one to count. Waiting is Perkins to get the sign from Abby Kreitner. As the pitch comes in, low and away. Some substitutions we talked about, Megan. Jasmine Hurd, she's out in right field. Over in left field is Lydia Smelzer. And in center field, 
Hang on, the ground ball to the th left side. Throw to first base is just in time by Bree Kelly to get out white. 5-3 on the put out. That's 5-3 on the put out. Standing in is Wood. The pitch is swing and a miss and a good hard fastball. So Brown pitch swing and a foul tip. That caught Abby Kreitner a little bit. So out in center actually is Smelzer. And Hurd is in left field. There's a tavern on third base line. Picked up by third base and a throw to first is not in time. Wood beats it out. Good play by Kelly. But Wood beat it out. And that'll be a swinging bunt single. Up next to the Lady Tigers, number four, Raven Gillum. So Raven Gillum will stand in. Raven has struck out twice. Perkins ready, brings it. Swing and a miss on a high fastball. Perkins wasting no time, brings another one in low. Problem by Kreidner of getting that one cleanly, but Abby was able to find it. Wood could not advance. We're in the fifth inning. Salem needs a bunch. They need at least three just to keep this game alive. A pitch misses, and it's 3-0. and oh. I'm sorry, 2-1, and one, excuse me, to Gillum. Du Bois on deck. That's a strike. Two and two. Wood with a short lead. Wood all first base right in the shadow there of the building. Strike three call. Outside edge. Gillum called out on strikes for the second time in this game. That is strikeout number 10 for Marley Perkins. Two down, and Du Bois is the Salem Tiger last hope. First pitch, swing and a miss. Good cut. Du Bois has walked and doubled, scored the only Tiger run. Two down. Stretch the pitch from Perkins. Here it is. High foul out of play. Got out in front. 0 oh 2. Perkins looks in for the sign from Kreidner as she squats down behind Du Bois. And here it is. Strike three call. She gets her 11th strikeout on Reagan Du Bois, and that retires the side, and that will end the game here as the Salem Tigers will fall to the Steelville Cardinals by a score of 13 to 1 here in the varsity game. We'll take a three minute break and come back with stats from this one. It's Tiger Softball on KSMO Media. I am a Missouri Farm Bureau insurance agent, and I'm here to talk about life, your life, your dreams, your work, your family, and how you can protect it all with a company that will talk to you with the honesty of a farmer and take care of you with the integrity of a neighbor. I'll make sure no detail is left uncovered so your family can breathe easy. Because just like you, I chose to build a life in Missouri too. I'm a Missouri Farm Bureau insurance agent, and I'm from Missouri for life. 
District Hospital believes that our community deserves the very best health care one could offer. We understand that all physicians need the highest quality images to thoroughly treat each situation. With you in mind, Salem Memorial District Hospital has brought these services home, and that includes our new state-of-the-art MRI. Don't waste your time and money driving long distances. Let us take care of you here at home. Salem Memorial District Hospital. Every patient, every encounter, every time. Mid-Ozark Animal Health Center in Salem is here for all of your veterinary needs. From your house cat to a herd of cattle, Dr. Cunningham and her expert staff are here to help. Mid-Ozark Animal Health Center is committed to providing your animals with the highest level of care and support. Schedule an appointment today for checkups, boarding, surgery, supplies, or even 24-7 emergency services for established clients. Stop by or call in today and get the veterinary care that your pets deserve. It's only because of our incredible sponsors that we're able to bring you Salem Tiger Sports and community events. Some of these sponsors include United Country, Salem Realty, Babette Wells, Broker Owner. Stop by their office located at 605 South Main Street. New Life Auto, Taters Sporting Good and Taxidermy, Melvin Motors and more. On the Spot Auto Glass, Looking Glass Salon, Flying W Boutique, Hubs Tire Center, and Ozark Overhead Door. Progressive Ozark Bank is proud to announce a better way to manage your debit card fraud alerts. Instead of a phone call, customers will receive a message on their text-enabled numbers if there is a concern on a debit card transaction. It's fast and easy. Want to find out how you can get fraud text alerts on your phone? Drop by or call Progressive Ozark Bank for more information. Progressive Ozark Bank. FDIC insured. Where people matter. Every project is different, which is why Salem Trust uses modern engineering software to design, then construct quality trusses for your home, barn, or business. The size of the job doesn't matter, but the quality of the work does, which is why Salem Trust will deliver their trusses anywhere. Proud to support the Salem community, they're open Monday through Thursday from 7.30 to 4.30 and Friday from 7.30 until 11. For more information, call Salem Trust at 729-9276. Well, Steelville wins it 13 to 1. Salem falls to 2 and 4 on the season. Cardinals got out in a big hurry in this one. After two are out, a double off the glove of Sailor Van White coming in. And uh, Marley Perkins ended up at second base with nobody out. She went to third on a wild pitch. And then Emery Perkins got hit by a pitch. She stole second. And then two of uh, the girls, well, both of the girls came in. On a double by Gracie May Boone, and that made it a 2 nothing game, and that's really all Steelville needed. An error by a catcher Du Bois allowed, I'm sorry, an error by catcher uh, Kylie Wood at the time, then allowed a third run to score and a throwback to Reagan Du Bois, who eventually became a catcher, and uh, that made a 3 nothing game uh, for Steelville in that first inning. Tigers got a two out single by Kylie Wood, but could do nothing, and then in the second inning, and a uh, ball hit back to Reagan Dubois while she was pitching, went off her arm. That was not the problem. The problem was when she went to reach for it, she couldn't find that ball. She just couldn't get a handle on it. Thus the error there, second error for the Salem Tigers in the game. And then she struck out uh, Marley Eilert and then got uh, Abby Kreiner to fly out to center. But Abby Woodall doubled the right field fence and drove in a run to make it 4 to nothing. And then a wild pitch put her at third. Marley Perkins is hit by a pitch. And then em Emery Perkins, while at the plate, when she drew a walk, had a wild pitch allowing Woodall to score. And that made a 5 nothing game as uh, Gracie May Boone popped out to third base. In uh, the third inning, a leadoff single by Bree Kelly. She stole second with... The strikeout of the pinch hitter at that time, uh, Maddie Boom. To have the Brown follow with a base hit. A base hit by Marley Eiler drove in a run. A walk to Abby Kreitner. A walk to Abby Woodall. And at that time, the change was made to put in Alexis White to uh, pitch. Actually, after the walk to Kreitner, then she walked Woodall. A base hit by Perkins drove in a run. A base hit by Emery 
uh, Perkins drove in another run, and then an error made by Taylor Fulton in center field allowed another run to come in. A walk, another walk, and finally a pop-out. Uh, but, but it's all added up and said and done. S total of six runs had crossed the plate for the Steelville Lady Cardinals in that third inning, and that made it an 11 to nothing score. Tigers did get a run in the fourth. Uh, one out walk, and then another walk, uh, the walk to Reagan Dubois, another walk to Brooke McHuron, then a double by Shaley Thomas, got the only Tiger run home. Another walk did follow, by the way, to uh, Sailor and Van Wyk to load the bases, but then Taylor Fulton struck out. And then finally in the fifth inning, a leadoff single by Marley Perkins. She stole second, came home on the Emory Perkins base hit. That made it 12 to uh, 1, and then a base hit by Gracie May Boone made it 13 to 1, and that's how this one ended. Du Bois gets the loss, two in the third innings, six hits, nine runs, five of them earned, two walks, three strikeouts. She did th uh, hit three batters, 2.2 innings for Alexis White, five hits, four runs, two of them earned, two walks, and two strikeouts for Marley Perkins. She went five innings, five hits, one run, three walks, and 11 strikeouts for her in the game as Steelville wins it by a final score of 13 to 1. Let's take a two minute break. We'll come back and wrap it up from the Salem City Park. Steelville 13, Salem 1. Back in two minutes, it's Tiger Softball on KSMO Media. Southwest Baptist University campus in Salem provides quality higher education close to home for residents of Dent County and the surrounding areas. The classes at SBU Salem campus are taught in the afternoon and evenings, making a degree attainable for people who are in the workforce or can't afford to go off to get a degree. We offer degrees in nursing, which is an RN bridge program, elementary education. For more information on the degrees and programs, please contact admissions counselor Chris Welch to schedule an appointment as a prospective or returning student. Your legacy, protect it, prosper, and pass it on. Stephen Patterson, attorney at law, specializes in real estate, estate planning, probate, family law, and business law. A Salem native, Stephen Patterson provides comprehensive representation to clients throughout Southern Missouri. If you need assistance, contact Stephen Patterson, attorney at law, at 573-453-2529. surprisingly great rates contact your local state farm agent today if you want the real deal call state farm agent cameron Irway in salem today like a good neighbor state farm is there and we always like thanking our sponsors to make it possible for us to bring you Salem Tiger Athletics and also activities such as Tater Sporting Goods and Taxidermy. Right at the wedge of Highway 19 and 68. Stop on by and pick up what you need for the weekend or every day. Maybe you might need that beverage or you might need to you know, set up some taxidermy services or they have many other products available. Tater Sporting Goods and Taxidermy. 453 27 Five seven, right there at the corner, sixty eight and nineteen. The Lady Tigers follow two and four in a year. They'll be back in action tomorrow, and they'll be on the road. And we'll be at the Salem High School baseball field complex for a home game with the Potosi Trojans. That game getting away at four thirty, right here on KSMO Media with four fifteen with Tiger Talk coach Tony Edwards. Do want to. Also remind you, the game yesterday with Potosi with the Lady Tigers, that was postponed, will be rescheduled for next Tuesday, April 2nd, 4.30, here at the Salem High School Baseball Field Complex. The Tigers lose it 13-1, to and as I mentioned, fall to 2-4 and four on the year, and they'll be starting conference play, so time to start getting serious. As we mentioned in Tiger Talk with Coach 
uh, Becca Hayes, how fast the season goes. And really, when you get started, it just seems like it's a snowball because it just goes, goes quickly. Four games, five games a week, some tournament games, not a lot of time to practice. So I hope the Lady Tigers, who today made a few errors and things of that nature, can straighten it out and uh, be able to uh, put the, a whole game together, which is always, that's always the point. You try and get that done so you can compete and be ready for your next game. Salem loses it 13-1. For Krista back at the station, for Ben Manning, the video controls, my name is Stan Stevens, and have yourselves a great night. Good night from the Salem City Park. Thank you for watching this KSMO Media broadcast of Salem Lady Tiger Sports. This game was brought to you by k &H Auto Supply, Salem Memorial Hospital, Farm Bureau Insurance, Salem Memorial Clinic, Country Mart, The Bank of Salem, Napa, Uni Auto Supply, Town Screen LLC, Tax Masters, Town & Country Insurance, Southwest Baptist University, Salem Campus, Terrell Complete Auto Care, Edward Jones, Duncan Family Chiropractic, State Farm Insurance, Salem Trust Manufacturing, Progressive Ozark Bank, Stephen Patterson, Attorney at Law, Mid Ozark Animal Health Center Incorporated, Southtown Furniture, Healthy Dent County, New Life Auto, Taters Sporting Good and Taxidermy, Melvin Motors and more, On the Spot Auto Glass, United Country Salem Realty, American Family Insurance, The Technology Junkyard, Looking Glass Salon, Flying W Boutique, Hubs Tire Center, and Ozark Overhead Door LLC.